Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Scum single player episode. So we've get we've been getting some really juicy updates from Tomislav as of late. Like we've been getting some really cool things. His latest one was a, a post about the modular building, and it was like a tower. You know those people that build like towers and rust. It looked like one of those, and it looked like it had a twig foundation. What I want to find, what I want to find out personally. It's not building the stuff. I want to see how it crumbles, how it deconstructs, or how it gets destroyed, you know what I mean? Is it going to be like a physics-based kind of, like, crumble away? Or is it going to be like, just, you know, like, it just turns to like, you know, mist or fog or whatever and it just disappears? I'd really like it if there is actually some physics to it, like if you break the foundation it all crumbles to bits and anything that's like, you know, supported by the, the foundations to just crumble down with it. Also, I know I said I was going to go up to like, uh, Delta 1 today, but I totally forgot in the previous episode that I wanted to come here to the naval base, so that's where I am today. I'm at the naval base, I'm having fun here. Uh, maybe at the end of the episode, maybe the next episode we'll go up to Delta 1 we might do some stuff up there. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take you through the naval base today, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be hectic. Realistically, I should have got the, uh, the, the puppet jacket to come through here, because I'd really like to walk through here with all the puppets kicking about. Um, I've got my AK still. My AK is still here. I'm leaving it in here because I don't have a lot of ammo for it. I've only got one magazine in about... Uh, 15, 16, maybe 18 rounds in this magazine right here. There's a full magazine in the AK engraved. But there's only like half a magazine, just just shy of half a magazine, on the uh, the spare. You know what I mean? So instead of doing that, we're gonna take the shotgun. We're gonna take a uh, trainer's axe, and we're gonna go blast some shit. Sounds fun, right? But before we do that, we're gonna go over here. World War Two bunkers are now my favorite thing in Scum. They always were my favorite thing in Scum. The main reason for that is because, well. You get some pretty damn powerful weapons in a World War II bunker, and you don't have to go very far to find them. Oh, sh shit in hell. Okay. This is fine. Come on, big boys. Come on, then. Come on. You don't have to go far to actually find some really powerful weaponry. And, you know, a Mosin... Uh, a car 98k hell even an M1 Garand if you top load it is still a deadly weapon 30 6 is a big round 792 is a beefy round 762 by 54 is a beefy round so what you want to do is if you're a single player if you're a solo player you want to hit up the World War 2 bunkers because you're going to find yourselves some very tasty weapons. Uh, that multiplayer video, the first multiplayer video, thank you very much for the feedback as well. Uh, I will be fixing a few things, the, the volumes of my friends, the volumes of other things. Um, and I will be trying my best to try and piece it together a wee bit better. I know some people are like, it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. That's not constructive feedback. I don't know how that's constructive feedback in your world, but in my world it's usually followed by, this is bad because not this is just you know, this is just bad. You need to you need to add that because part onto that bit. You know what I mean? Anyway, thank you very much to the people who did supply feedback to me. I will be fixing a few things. I will be changing a few things for the next episode, possibly this week. I said I was going to do one every week. Um, I believe Creffin and Bodie want to come back for the next one, so we might see that on Friday. Might see that on Saturday. Just depends on uh, when we actually do it. I might start recording it tomorrow get it all edited up, get it all fixed together, and maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll find a base, or we'll make a base, and we'll call a server home. Also, I have a special feature next week, it's going to involve a facial fatality. If you don't know who that gentleman is, he's a Twitch streamer, he plays scum, and he's a good friend of mine. Uh, we have a lot of fun together, usually in events, usually when I go on a server and annoy him. And drop puppets on him because I can do that. I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> but uh, next week I will be playing with uh, facial fatality. Do you want to see that? Look forward to it. It'll be fun. What we'll do is we'll probably play on his server. I will be playing on a multitude of multiplayer servers uh, as the weeks go by. I will be playing on Ray's server. I'll be playing on facial server. I'll be playing on my own server. I'll be playing on other people's servers. Hell, if you've got a server, join my Discord, shoot me a DM, 
hey, I might find your server, I might enjoy it, I might set up shop in it, you never know. So yeah, join the Discord, the link's in the description. Right, we're going to the naval base, my character's also really goddamn what <sighs> Alright. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I got a little bit of a fright. I, I, I had to stop for a second and be like... What the fuck's that noise? <laughs> what the fuck is that noise? Turns out, it was a... Uh, it was a... Uh, it was a, it was a pumpkin. It was a jack-o'-lantern crashing directly into the earth, like a meteor, <laughs> like a down satellite. Motherfuckers nearly killed me. <laughs> right, there are multi. There is a multiple choice here on where you want to go. Right, so we're at the naval base. If you're new to Scum and you're kind of watching this as like a little guide, what you want to do is you want to go to the southeast side bottom side of Alpha 4. You want to follow around, get to the get to the gates or get to the fence, the chain link fence that you just seen there that I walked through. And you want to walk to about, you know, this location. You know, this location right here. Specifically this location right here. This is the easiest way to get in here, by the way. There are two, two main entrances. Uh, two main entrances? So there's a ladder hatch over there. There's a ladder hatch over here. So one ladder hatch... Sorry, give me a sound. I need to go downstairs. I need to go down. I need to go down. There are two ladder hatches. You can go down either one of them. It'll take you bo to, to, like, the same bay, I believe. Let's just throw on the night vision because it's a little bit dark here. Now, the reason why you want to go down here is because it's probably the easiest way to get to the loot. There is a massive loot room at the bottom of this bunker right here, or bottom of this sub pen. It's basically a massive control room. It's got a large armory stashed in it. And there is a lot of locked containers in there. The reason why I'm here today is so I can find some more ammunition for my AK. Possibly some new weapons, possibly some new gizmos, and things that I can, you know, have fun with. That's, uh, that's not meant to be like that. There's not actually a light here. That's just a break in the... That's just a break in the lighting in this game. Right, uh, we can drop here. And there we go, there's a sub. Mr. Submarine. Oh, I was wrong. No, I was right, actually. Because you can see the ladder over there. That's the other ladder hatch. The ladder hatch over there, that's the one that I pointed out to you, that's where you drop down to. But we drop down to this one. Now, I need to be kind of careful here, because there are a lot of puppets, one of which needs to die straight away. Just like that. And you can see the sub. The sub's very cool. There is actually a submarine here. Now, you can't use it before before people start commenting, you cannot you cannot use it. You can't use it to sail away. Oh sh <gasps> Oh that's not good. <gasps> Wait, that's 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 a suicide puppet run, running amongst them. Oh this That guy right there. Yes. Shit. No ammo. I need to get them before they can get to the bottom of it. Oh, I don't want you to be there. I don't want you to be there. No, go away. Oh, do you know what I can do? I can, I can, I can trick them. I can trick them. <laughs> what are you doing still alive? Oh, there we go. Right, he's going to die. There, there we go. He's definitely dead now. He jumped out! I need to kill him. Hit him. Hmm, not doing too, too well here. Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? Please tell me you're dead. Ah, he's dead now. He's dead now. We're good. Right, okay, we're in the clear. Now, there are, there are sentries here. Trust me, there are sentries here. And, uh, they're the most annoying goddamn sentries you'll ever meet. So there's one just over there somewhere. He's kind of hiding out. No, you can actually see him. You can kind of see his arm. Can you see it sticking out there? Right, we'll just jump here. Right, we've got time. We've got time. I think. I think we've got time. 
Right, four bullets, that's not particularly hot. Let's reload. Check a magazine. 9 of 15. Oh. Did you see him? Run over here. Jump on here. Jump onto this. Up here. Go crouched. Don't stand up. Stay crouched. And there you go. Lots of stuff to loot. Lots of stuff to loot. Lots of stuff to loot. Oh! Vietnam helmet. Oh, weapon ghillie. Weapon ghillie? Weapon ghillie. Weapon ghillie. Weapon ghillies are very cool. Very hard to come by. Very, very hard to come by. At least in my opinion, they're very hard to come by. There's just a casual set of NVGs sitting in those. Another set of NVGs. How do you like that? That is... that. That's 50 BMG. That is 50 caliber rounds. SVD magazine. Screwdriver. We've already got a screwdriver, which is okay. We've got some 5.56. Okay, what else have we got? Some armor piercing 30-06. Very, very tasty. Very nice. AS Val magazine. We'll have that. That's very good. Uh, let's just go. There's another set of NVGs, you know, just casually in these, uh, these little lockers right here. What I need to do is I need to find some bobby pins. I don't actually have any. I forgot to bring some with me. We need to get these things unlocked. Right, get rid of some of that stuff. Get rid of that stuff. Remember I said to crouch? Just stay crouched. Stay crouched because he will spot you. Uh, also bear in mind there are lockers around the place. There are lockers. Oh, a double hit of 556. Five, How do you like me now? Ho, ho, ho. If we find ourselves a VHS, we've got, we've got everything that we need. Uh, the, the reason why I'm closing that as well, the reason why that's getting, you know, staying closed is, well, the puppets. The puppets are... Fucking unbearable. <laughs> They're so unbearable. Like, I don't, I don't, for anybody that doesn't know, for anybody that doesn't actually watch this, or for anybody that's kind of just interested in the game, you can edit your multiplayer and single player files to make things a little bit harder, a little bit more challenging for yourself. So, if you don't know about this series, let me just tell you a little bit about the settings of this series, at least this single player. So, Normal puppets, if you've ever played Scum, if you've ever played Scum, you'll know exactly what vanilla puppets, you know, hit for, how many there will be in the world. Think of that, but on, like, just stupid numbers, right? So, 500 max puppets can spawn in the world for me right now. 500, right? I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was, and I'm actually kind of terrified at the thought that that might have actually just been something bad. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. Anyway, motherfucker. Anyway, going back to the settings of the of the single player, there are 15 times more puppets. They hit eight times as hard as vanilla puppets, which means if they hit you, you're a goner. So think of a one tap, two tap. Uh, two tap if I'm wearing armor, one tap if I'm not wearing armor. So essentially, I need to keep armor on me at all times. I need to be well... Basically, I need to be encased in armor to survive any sort of hit. So, normal spawn rate for puppets is like maybe three or four in a, in a town. Maybe five or six or something like that, depending on the settings. For this... There's about 40 to 40 to 50 that spawn at any given time, which is it's fine. It's, it's totally fine. It's, it's not fine. It's not fine. It's not good. Uh, more 50 BMG tracer rounds. Very, very nice. Uh, we've got the magazine for said thing. Uh, but that as well, uh, if I die in this series, if I die at any point in this series, I need to restart everything. I need to create a fresh character. Think of a permadeath, a permadeath series. This is what that is, right? This is a permadeath series. If I fuck up, I'm done for, right? That's a lot of loot. That's a lot of cracking loot. That's a lot of cool loot right there. There's a black combat helmet, which I'm inclined to take because it's a black combat helmet and everybody loves tactical black. Uh, what we will do is we will put this back in our quiver. We'll take this into our hands. Press R. And he'll reload the magazine. Just like that. Easy. Easy peasy. I'm going to keep the 5.56 five, stacked in its uh, 
you know, it's in, in, in its box for right now. I don't, I don't see any point of like, you know, un, like undoing the box. Just keep it the way it is. Right. There's more. There's still more. There's more to come. There's more. There's more over there. Look, look, loot. So much loot. Oh, the loot is pouring out of this place. It's good. It's a very, it's a very good location to loot. If you can get by those sentries, if you can get bad, like by those bad boys, you're you're gonna have a fun time in here. Genuinely, it's. It, I wouldn't say it's free loot. The only reason that this is easy right now is because I've I've killed a lot of puppets simply by. Oh yes, boober. I am going to unload that bad boy, and I'm gonna take this one as well. I'm actually gonna stack this one. So. The reason why it's so easy is because I blew up two suicide puppets, or one suicide, or no, two, su two suicide puppets. Uh, one of them ran towards a group of, you know, armoured puppets, took out all the light guys, and I finished them off with the, uh, you know, I finished them off with the pistol. Very easy. Now, I need to be quite careful here because um, I don't have any protection here now. Puppets can come through that door and through that door. There's nowhere from, like, no real place for me to kind of hide here, so I need to be kind of careful, I need to be quiet. I can't be, uh, I can't be skulking about the place and making a lot of noise. Right, uh, did I turn the NVGs on for this? Yeah, I'll just turn the NVGs on for this. Uh, let's get the rest of them out, so one, two, three, five. Five, five and a go. Five and a go, let's go. Take it out, take it out. I would take that other armour, I would take this ar this bulletproof vest, but there's, there's absolutely no point. I'm wearing a tactical black uh, vest, there's no point in me having it. May as well just walk away from it, right? If we do find any interesting uh, loot though, if we find any alien you know, 50 caliber or, you know. Come on, come on game. Right. No, nah. humped it, humped it. For, the, for once I'm humping it. There we go, mechanical keyboards. Um, they're not very good when it comes to lock picking. Not very good when it comes to lock picking, as you can quite clearly tell. Right. Come on. Come on. There we go. Sorted. We have two more. I need to make another lock pick because I broke one. There we go. That one. That one was easy. That one was pimps. So easy. Craft, craft, and lock pick. Now there are Quonset huts here on this uh, this naval base. There's three distinct Quonset huts, and uh, they they have they have a decent amount of loot in them. They really do. Uh, holy shit! Deagle fifty. I'ma take it. <gasps> now, if you don't know what this is, you've been living under a fucking rock, okay? You've been living under a rock. This is a fifty caliber BMG. Murdering weapon. This, this, this is one of one of the most powerful guns in the game. This thing right here is one of the most powerful guns in the gun. Powerful, powerful guns in the gun. Powerful guns in the game. Christ, I'm tired. Right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get this thing out of here. Uh, I need to figure out how I'm gonna get it out of here though. Easy, easy. Didn't, didn't even have to think. Didn't even have to think. Right. Let's get out of this bad boy. Without getting spotted. Oh, I'm gonna be greedy. I'm gonna be greedy. I'm sorry, but I have to be greedy. Why is it with all the smoke grenades? Fuck the smoke grenades. Oh, <gasps> black helmet. I like black helmets. I like tactical black. What we got? NVG. More NVGs. Four pairs of NVGs. Oh, that's a good. That's a good find right there. Uh, I'm trying to be quick here because I don't want that sentry to spot me. Right, come on, come on. Right, we're gonna go for the Quonset huts now. Money, I like money. I really, really like money. Everybody should like money. Jackets, yuck! Don't like jackets. Bomber jackets, yeah, sure, but not, not, not those jackets. Those jackets are stinky. Right, let's get the hell out of here. And by when I'm when, when I say let's get the hell out of here, I simply mean let's get out of the uh, the sub pen part of this. Oh, fuck! Faster. Faster! Faster, please! Up, 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 up! Oh! Oh! The puppets respawned! The puppets respawned! <laughs> 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 
Oh my god, we got out of there in just the nick of time. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deposit the loot that I've got in my, uh... I'm gonna put it back into the tractor, because I am not losing this 50 caliber BMG, this M8281. Not losing it, not losing it, I refuse to lose it. What I will do is I will check to see if I've got that VHS and if I have a spare magazine, because what I would like to do is use something that's 5.56. Uh, I have enough for two magazines right here. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a tactical combat helmet, which I might actually wear because... As much as I love my helmet, as much as I love my helmet, and I love it to bits, I really like the combat helmets. The combat helmets are so hot. They're so nice. They're so, so nice. Right, let's run back down. As you can quite clearly tell, it's easy to get in and out of this place. This is where the uh, fun bit comes in. This is where the risk comes in. We now need to go over the top and hit up those spawns at huts. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to go well for me, but we're going to chance it. We're going to we're we're going to chance it. We're going to take a risk. You have to take a few a few risks in life, you know. You know what I mean? I forgot I still had the grenade launcher. I totally forgot I still had that. Um. Oh, one thing. You, you know what I can do? Do you know what I can do? I have an M1 clip. I said a clip, I didn't say a magazine, no one gave me into trouble. I said the right word. I did say the right word. You can't give me into trouble for that. Right, are these full? <gasps> oh, they're not full. They're not full. Right, that's, that's really, really good. That's really good. I'm going to take my helmet off and equip that one. Oh, hot. Just, just hot. Just, just hot. How can, how can you not think that the, how can you not think that the combat helmets are not hot? They're so cool. They're so cool. <laughs> right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly jar some loot in here because I don't want to, uh, I don't necessarily want to take up space in my main, uh, my main hold in the tractor. Uh, that's 30 uses right there. That's perfect. Uh, that's, Armor piercing 30 out 6. 50 BMG, 50 BMG, 762, M1 clip. 762 by 54. We got that sorted. Uh, what else do we have? We have an axe, we have a shotgun, we have. Did I not pick up a VHS at some point? Did I not pick that up? Is it in here? Oh. 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 Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember picking any of this up, by the way. My brain's gone into melting mode. 50 Action Express. Do we have a magazine for the Deagle? <laughs> Do we have a magazine? Oh, we have a VHS magazine. We don't have the VHS itself. Right. Okay. That changes things. That changes a few things. Right. That's fine. What we can do is we can just, uh... Oh, we need, we need we need to put away the the M8 too. We need to put that away. Put that away. We can't be using that right now. That's that's a risk. It's a major risk. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to change out for the AK. AK is going to come with me today. Uh, the again the shotguns good. Shotguns are great. Shotguns are fantastic weapons. Fabulous, fabulous weapons. But uh, in this instance, I am going to be taking it off, and I will be only using the trainer axe. I've been moving these things along a wee bit. Uh, do I have anything else that I can take with me? No. No, I don't. Okay, right, let's go. See, look at my character. Look, look, look at that character. Oh! Oh! Right. We've also got a bayonet on the, uh, on the AK. And yes, I saw the comments about the AK. I know I made a mistake. I did make a mistake. The mistake was... Uh, I had the suppressor on. Is I had no sorry. You can't put a suppressor on if you also have a bayonet. That was my mistake. Thank you for pointing that out. Oopsie, oopsie, whoopsie, poopsie. Right, I'm gonna take my shirt off. That's an insulating layer. Right, we're just gonna sprint. We're literally just gonna sprint all the way over here. Now I need to be quite careful. There is a sentry. Right, right. Where the fuck are you? I can hear him, but I can't see him. <gasps> there he is! There he is! Oh, and there's the other one. I forgot about him. 
Right, I'm hoping I don't get spotted here. Right, he's looking the wrong way. He's been dumb. He may spot me. That sentry off to my right might spot me as well. Right, we'll stop here. Stopping right here. Right, let's get my let's <laughs> let's just make my car make sure my character's hydrated. Just in case I pass out here. Right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna jump up into the basketball court or the baseball court or whatever kind of court it is. Because right there at the top of the screen behind those trees is the Quonset huts. So we need to be kinda careful here because there's a lot of puppets that have just simply respawned in my way. Here we go. Up. Jump up here. Run along. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was actually down a level. There's actually six Quonset huts here. There's six Quonset huts. Oh, hello. Right, big boy. There you go. That's that sorted. Oh! Effortless, you know? See when you've got an actual gun, this game becomes so much easier. So much. I'm glad I am. <laughs> oh, there's a. Oh, we can switch out for the UMP 45. We've got so much. Uh, we have got so much uh, 45 ACP rounds. We have got boxes upon boxes of 45 ACP. We can take some liberties here. I have to take that with me. That is that is something that needs to come with me. Sluggies. Sluggies come with me. M16 magazine. He's right there. He's right there. He is right there. How much how much ammo have I got in this thing? I only used ten rounds. That's pretty good. There's two there. There's two suicide puppets outside. Can you hear them? Beep 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 beep. <laughs> Blow up, you bastards! Blow up! Blow up, you bastards! Come on! Do it! Do it! There we go, that's one. There's two. Fabulous. Right, uh, rule of thumb, never go out the front. Ever. Never, ever, ever go out the front. That's suicide if you do that. Right, that's it. Oh! Right, time to open door number two. Nothing. That's good. Means we've cleared out enough enough puppets for them to be uh, respawning in the possible next Quonset hut. Which means we get a break with this one. <gasps> pink booties! I know a lot of people will be screaming at me in the comments. Take the pink booties! No. I have black booties. I like my black booties. I like them nice and polished. They're nice. I can see my reflection. Oh boy! Remember, always cat, always if you can get some duplicates of your weapons, because if if you remember in the previous episode or a couple of episodes back, uh, you will know that if you take those, you can turn them into weapon parts. You can use them across other uh, other guns, or sorry, you can't use them across other guns. You can use them across other duplicates and repair them. For a better, uh, for a better uh, condition of your current weapon. That's why I've got two AKs, by the way. That's why I've got two AKs. The other AK is just simply there in case this one busts and I have to repair it. Actually, 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 tell you what. There you go. Right, there's going to be puppets in here. No puppets in here? They must be on the outside. The exteriors must be spawning in a much greater wave. So, this is going back to like my server settings and stuff like that. Um, so you've got, like, I think there's four different types of spawn rates or spawn mod modifiers. 
One of them is the exterior puppets and one of them is interior puppets. You've also got wild spawns as well. I think there's only three. Though I could be completely wrong in saying that. Uh, but I have... I've pretty much changed... <gasps> I've pretty much changed all my settings to be like 15 times. I've changed the wild spawn rate to 18 now. 18 times. 18 times the usual amount. 18, by the way, not 80. 18. Just in case everybody gets confused with my accent. Right, give me that. No, no, no. no. Give me. I'll be taking that. Right, this is the last Quonset hut in the row. Uh, what are we looking for? Ammo wise, 18, so we're pretty much halfway on the magazine. That's good. That's really good. Oh, uh, F4. Okay, hold on, I just want to search this. Thanks. <laughs> He's not going to come in here, is he? Right, we need to get down there towards that... That, eh... Uh, that sentry down there. We'll go down here. Run here. Don't stop, whatever the hell you do. Shut that behind you. Run back here. Jump through this window. Over here. And hey presto, that's you in the back side of them. Which means you can go shooting again. <sighs> I love these guns, man. They're so fun. <laughs> They're so much fun. I do wish... Uh, I do wish they put uh, four grips in the game. I'd really like I'd really like to put four grips on my guns. Like change change the uh the gas block no 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 the gla the gas block. The um the rail, the guard, the, whatever the fuck you want to call it. The thing that you can put an under guard rail. You know? An under barrel rail. Or whatever. The, words words I'm tired and words, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> So block 21, sue me. I, I, I like block 21s, that's a 357 Magnum uh, Deagle. <gasps> we do like tactical military pens, I like them. They're mine now. There's a gun on that, there's a gun on that. I think it's a 1911. It's a 1911. Mad Dookie. Right, I'm gonna do something dumb. Take magazine out. Reload. Unload magazine. Keep ammo here. Get ready to fight. I actually killed one. There was one behind him. Oh! Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to shoot you. I did not mean to shoot you. That was that was an accident. We bit of lag there. Just the amount of puppets spawning. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Forty four judge. Forty four. Do oh. Mm. Just a wee bit of lag. Just, just a wee bit of lag here and there. That's alright. We're doing alright. MP5 magazine, that's what we need as well. Because we have an MP5 SD in one of the one of the um the what do you call it? In one of the bags. Oh the lag. What is with the lag? Don't you dare come through that wall. 357 Magnum. Basic awareness skill has been raised. Let's go. Apparently, he can't control himself. He can't control the fact that he's got a C4 strapped to his chest. Just blow up. 
just blow up. Do me a bloody favour. <laughs> uh, military quiver. Do you... There we go. That's that sorted. Perfect. This place rocks. Like, if, if you can get in here. Is that a golden one? <gasps> it's a gold one, but I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. I refuse to take. I refuse. To take. Is that 50? It's actually 50 there. 357 Magnum. Hello? Oh! 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 That's concerning. Oh, very concerning, actually. Hold on. I've only got a few bullets here. I've only got a few bullets here. I've only got a few bullets here. Okay. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> this is going to be hectic. Oh, sh... Shabooptered. We've been shabooptered, boys. Oh, duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave. You know, just just in case. You know, just in case. Just in case they decided to phase through. You know what I mean? Just in case they wanted to phase through and, you know, be cheating. Horrible. Horrible puppets. Rattle through all this stuff right here. After this Quan's at hut, I think that's it. I think that is like the best that I'm gonna get out of here. Because I'm looking a little bit on the fuel side. I wish I could get some more 762. More 762 would be lovely. Don't you dare come through that door. Only reason why I'm still holding this right now is because it's got a bayonet on it. And the bayonets in this game are a one-tap for any sort of puppet. SVD rounds, or Mosin rounds, depending on what gun you like. More pink booties! Right, rattle through this one, rattle through this one. Right, this is going to be a hard press to get out of here, by the way. I'm not going to lie. Um. Oh, my character needs to pee. There we go. There we go. Let it go, girl. There you go. Sorted. Right. We're getting out of here. We are getting out of here. We've actually travelled quite far. For someone who's a... Uh... Right, we need to be careful here. Dead. So that one dead? Dead. Right, we're clear. We're clear, we can leave. We're dead, we're clear. Oh, oh, don't shoot me! Right, he's stupid. He's gone that way. That's fine. Okay. Just keep moving this way. If I can get up these stairs, this is going to be, like, really, really good. Come on, get up the stairs, get up the stairs. He's coming back. He's coming back. But we are out of there. <laughs> right, he's over there. Where's the other one? He's right in front of me. Magic. Perfect. Excellent. This is that. This has gone so smoothly. I've only taken one hit and I never took any damage. That is the benefit of armor. Right, keep running, 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 keep running. Oh, I am out, I'm out of his radius. I am way out of his radius. Oh, something fucking blew up. <gasps> Look at all the puppets over there. There's a lot of puppets over there. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, we're heading back to the vehicle. After this, uh, I am going to, off camera, probably travel up to maybe Charlie 1 or Charlie 2 for the next episode. Because in the next episode, I'm going to be getting the puppet jacket. If you guys don't know about this, if, you, if you've never seen it before, 
that'll be the episode to watch. That'll probably be out on Thursday, most likely. Uh, for the next couple of days, I'm going to be sorting out the multiplayer video. Um, hopefully, uh, I'm really, I really, really hope it comes out a lot better this time. As I said, I've never really done. I mostly do single player stuff because single players something that I genuinely enjoy, and a lot of other people enjoy it. But um, a lot of people have been scre well, not screaming at me, but they've been they've been begging me to kind of play multiplayer, and they want to see my perspective from it. So that's that's what I'm really trying to aim for uh, with those episodes. I'm trying to aim for like what I would do, what I would normally do when I play a multiplayer uh, server that's not my own. So hopefully the next one you guys enjoy a little bit more. Hopefully you guys have a, a little bit more feedback for me. I want to make these as good as I can get them. So, yeah. That's going to be today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just bundling away the loot here. I am just bundling it away. There we go. Sorted it. Sorted. Sorted. And we seem to be quite empty. That's good. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, leave a thumbs up on this video. Tell me what you think in the comments below. How are you finding Thomas Slav's leaks, by the way? Are you in, are you all interested in the modular building as well as the modular vehicles? Mm, that's going to be interesting. I saw the boat. The boat looks really, 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 really cool. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been enjoying my Scum series as well as my multiplayer series that I'm starting and as the other series on my channel as well, and you're still not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Ring the little bell. We still up to date with videos just like this as well as a Sunday night live stream which starts between 6 and 7 p.m. UK time. We go for about 3-4 hours playing Scum, Stalker, you know, those kind of games. We'll have a lot of fun. I'd like to see you there. It's usually a grand time. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm away to get a cup of tea and start work on the multiplayer video. I'm going to go away and record some. Uh, going to do some of that tonight and tomorrow and possibly a little bit on Thursday as well. Hope you all have a lovely day. As always, I've been Mr. Fudo. I'll see you all another time.